Hi there, welcome to Automation Bro. So in my previous video, I showed you how to upload a file in WebDriver.io. And we used this site as an example where we had this input field over here. And we uploaded our file by finding this input element and then adding our file here. And this works fine. However, in modern website, you will likely notice that this input field is hidden. For example, you will see something like this. So I have my input field selected here. And then what you will typically see is that they would do display none on the input field so that you won't really see anything here. And devs typically do this so that they can add an element on top of the input field that could either be a div or button which they can give any kind of styles that they want, which is not easily possible with the input field. So let's head over to our example website where the input field is hidden. Okay, so I'm using this website as an example, which is online2pdf.com. And if you notice here, they have a button which you can click to upload the files. But there is no input field. This is the way we saw it over here, if I refresh. There's no input field like this on this website. So what they're doing is instead they have a button and when you click on the button, you can upload the files or you can drag and drop the files. So if I right click here and inspect, you will see that there is a button here, but there is no input field, but there is one behind the scenes. If I just search for input here and you're going to notice there's input type hidden upload ID, but this is not the one we want. We want the one that has type file. So I'm going to go down. Okay, so this here, so we have this input field and it has type file, but there is no display none here if you focus on this side. Um, so technically either what they would do is either they would hide the input field or they would hide the parent field. So if I go to this one, the parent is this div and you would see the display none here. So currently this input field is hidden and we're not really seeing it on the screen. But if I change this display none to display block, which is basically I'm making it appear on the screen. And if you notice on the top right here, when I highlight it over here, it's actually appearing on the top. And if I actually, um, to make it more obvious, let me just remove this absolute so that it appears over here. Now you notice here, when I do this, it's actually showing up there. I'll even add a background color to make it extremely obvious. There you go. So now when I go over there, you can see that no file ch uh, chosen shows up. It's exact same as this one, no file chosen. So now it's appearing up there. It's on the screen. It's not really hidden. And if I click on it, I can obviously upload a file and do whatever we need to do. So this is what we want to try to achieve here. So what we will do is actually make this, this div ID, which is hidden, we'll convert it into a block so that it shows up on our screen and that our WebDriver IO can interact with it. If we don't do this and if we directly try to upload using the select files button, what you will see is an error, which is the element is not interactable when you try to click on this element or when you try to interact with the input element. So what I'm going to do now is bring it back to none. So I'll change this to display none and we don't see it anymore here. And now instead of changing it directly through CSS, we're going to try to change it through our console here. So what I'm going to do is let me clear this. I'll do document dot get element by ID. And here I'm going to pass in the ID for our div, which was this. I'll pass this over here and it should be in a string. So I'm going to add this. And just the way we change the styles over there, I'll do the same thing. I'll do style dot display and block. And did you notice it showed up again? So this is exactly what we're gonna try to do with our WebDriver IO. We're gonna run a script, which would be pretty much this one. And then we're gonna try to enable our input field so that it shows up on the screen and then our WebDriver can interact with it. So this is possible to do it using browser.execute, which allows you to run a script. So we'll do that and this way our input field will show up and we can kind of do the same thing which we did in our previous video is upload a file here and then do our whatever steps we need to do next. So let's try to do that using WebDriver IO and see how it works. So let's head over to VS Code now. Okay, so over here what I did was I copy pasted our previous file and put in a new file called upload input hidden. And here we're gonna be creating our test. So the first thing we need to do is find our selectors. So we have the selectors which we find in our previous video. So we don't really need these ones. So what I'm going to do is start replacing this one by one. So first we need our input div. So let me just copy this and paste it here. We need our input div. So I'll name this input div and let's find that. So that one is pretty much this because this is the one we need to enable. So we're going to be using this and then let me 
change this over here. Now we need our actual input field, which is this one. And the ID for that is input underscore file zero. And let's change that also. Okay, so our button, so this is optional if you want to click on that button, but let's do that. So once you, if you notice this, once we go through the input field, there's this convert button. So let's actually select this. And they have a class called convert button. So let's see if this is unique. And it is, yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna copy this. Head back, change this here. Since this is an ID, uh, not an ID, it's a class, so we're gonna add a dot there. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all the selectors we need. Next, we need our file path. So this time for file path is going to be same. We are just uploading our Chrome file. So I'm not gonna change anything here. It's exact same. If you wanna see how we found this file path, you can go watch my previous video. Okay, and even the next step, which is using the remote file path, a browser dot upload file, and then we provide this file path. This is going to stay the same. There's no changes here. The change that we will make is would be on this browser.url since we're using a different website now, we have to pass in the path for that. So let's do that. And the website we're using is online to pdf.com. So I'm gonna copy that and then go back and then change this, put it over here, okay. So the next steps over here is what we need to change because if we run this right now, WebDriver IO will throw us an error that the element is not interactable, which is basically this one because it's hidden, right? So what we have to do is make it not hidden and make it enable. So we can do that by doing browser.execute, which let us execute a script. So I'll do browser.execute. And here we will pass in a function. So I'll do function. And then the script that we ran over here, uh, if I go back, this exact same thing, we can just copy and paste it in our VS code. Okay, so I'll just paste it here. So let's make sure this is right. So we are doing document.get element by ID. We are finding our ID and then we are changing the styles and we are making it a block. So before from none, we are changing it to block. Okay, so this is good. Um, next, what we need to do is once we change this to block, we need to make sure it's displayed on the screen. So we can add in a line there. We'll do input div dot wait for displayed. So we are just waiting for it to be displayed. Once this is displayed, we can do our next step, which is set our value and then click on the submit button and basically just do the pause, whatever we need to do. So let me just change this to five seconds so that it's obvious that we can see exactly once it's uploaded, we can see the file. All right, so let's make sure we have everything correct here. We have our selectors, we have our file path, we are going to our URL, and then we are changing uh, the display from none to block by running this script. And then we are waiting for the input to show up. Once it shows up, then we will do one, basically upload a file and then click on the button. So I think this is good. So now let's run our test to make sure this works. So I'm gonna do npx wdio. And in my configuration file, I will change this. Okay, so this is make sure you change this. This should be upload input hidden. This is already done for me. So I don't have to change anything here. And then I'm just gonna run our test. Okay, so it's opening our website and it uploaded the file. And if you see here, the file just got uploaded successfully. Awesome, so this is exactly what we wanted. And in fact, even downloaded the file once it got uploaded. Okay, so that's all we needed to do to upload a file on a hidden input element. So the key here is to enable the element, whether that's your input element or in my case, it was the parent div element so that WebDriver IO can interact with it. And you can do that by manipulating your styles by running the script. All right, let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful or if you have any questions. So this code will be available on GitHub for you to access. And if you want to learn more about WebDriver IO, you can check out my WebDriver IO series. Link will be in the description below for both GitHub and the series. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep watching more content like this. That's it for this video, folks. I will see you in the next one.